What's up guys, do you want a complete makeover of your phone? Then stay tuned because I got a pack of 2 launchers, 2 lock screens, 2 widgets, 2 icon packs and also 2 wallpaper apps. So I'll be showing you a pack of 10 different apps. By the way, if you want to know the current launcher and wallpaper, watch further because I'll reveal them later in the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and let's get started. So first we'll be looking at wallpaper apps. The first wallpaper app for today is called Chrome of Loads. It's a free wallpaper, live wallpaper app and it's really great. So this is how it is. Currently there's a breathing animation which makes it bigger and smaller as time passes. So the settings there, you can choose many shapes over here. You can also choose many different colors or you can create your own color palettes. There's also the option for change the background after every 30 minutes, every 1 minute or home, on home return. You can also change the breath animation speed or disable it. Then it uses the sensors to move the wallpaper around. And there's also the starting animation speed. So you see currently I'm moving it around with my by moving the device and it looks brilliant. The fact that it's free, you have to check it from the description below. The second wallpaper app is called Tap It. So it, this is how the app looks like. You can swipe left to right to change the colors and designs and up and down to change the complete patterns. So they have really great options to choose from and they all work without internet connection. So just keep on swiping between the patterns and like that. Then you can either like them or dislike the wallpapers and then you can also select the tick button to set them as your wallpaper. You can also filter out, uh, filter out the wallpapers by patterns or colors. As you can see from colors they ask you how often would you like to see each color. So they have brilliant wallpapers and the fact that it's free, you have to check it out. Links in the description below. Moving on, now we look at icon packs. So the first one is called Article. So it looks brilliant and it supports a wide variety of launchers. As you can see, there's so many mentioned over here. Then the, it also brings its own wallpapers, like around 12 of them. And they look brilliant, HD wallpapers that won't stretch out anything. So the icons. It has so many of them, it supports most of the common apps used or daily apps used. As you can see there's the music player, entity benchmark and much more BBM and all those. So the icons will look really neat and stand out against the wallpapers it provides. So check it out, it's a paid icon pack for around $1 but it deserves it. So check the description below for the Play Store download link. The next or the second icon pack is called Rewon. It's made by a developer who's previously made so many other icon packs and they're all brilliant. So this one supports many launchers over here mentioned here and some uh, and other launchers which are not mentioned here but you can still use the icon pack. It comes with its own 50 materialistic HD wallpapers that you can download and the icons are so many. It covers like all your apps or something. There are around 3000 icons in the pack itself. And you can request for more so currently it's going on sale on 50 percent sale so check it out fast on google play store now it's time to look at the widgets so the first one is called clock weather transparent widget it looks brilliant it's a free widget app that you can check from the description below or the play store link so this is how it looks it has a very minimalistic design then you've got everything on the screen there's time and date there's sunset and sunrise time there's battery percent, alarms, weather info, complete weather info of two or three days, calendar, everything. Then you can also tap on it and then look for more designs. This is not the only design that comes with it. So as you can see, there's so many designs over here. And they all look brilliant. They're materialistic designs, they're transparent designs and all those. So check it out now from the description below. The next widget app is actually the app below and not the clock. However, if you want the clock widget, check the description below for one that says minimalist clock widget. Continuing, the app widget is called Bubble Cloud Apps and you may know it from the Apple Watch OS. The widget app was originally made for Android smartwatches but eventually it was also supported on launches as widgets. It looks amazing with the recently apps used as uh, big large icons and the others remaining small it also has some 
settings that you can change to make it look different. Like you can choose a different icon pack. Then you can also choose the bubble spacing, cloud size limit, size variance and all that. So this app, this widget app actually looks amazing and it's actually free. So check the description below for the download link. And it's a must have especially if you have an Android smartwatch and you like the Apple OS. Moving on, we are now looking at the two best launchers. So the first one is called SS Launcher and it's not known much but it's really great. It's like the most customizable launcher I've ever encountered. So let's, let me show you how it is. So this is how it's arranged. You can have your favorite apps or you can add pages how many you want. As you can see over here, you can add many pages. Then there are all your apps over here. It's a vertical scrolling app drawer. And you can also have contacts over here, so you can then you can just tap on it and call the person. So it's actually really great, and it's different from all the other launches out there. The great thing about it, I like about this is you can edit things on its own. Like let me show you with this music icon. So there's edit. So you can change the type of this shortcut. Like see, currently it's application. So now let's make it widget. Then the target, now you can choose the target. So now, because it's widget, you get to choose from all these widgets. So let's choose this one. And... Yeah, that's done. You see, it even lets you make this bigger or smaller or like that. Then you choose where it pops up. And then back. Then you can change the style of this shortcut. You see there are many styles where you can have title, information, extra, but let's just have the icon. Then apply changes. So now I see it's here. So when you tap on it, instead of the app opening, it's a widget which pops up. So that's a really great feature. Then there's some other stuff like the labels. On top here you can see home, favorite and applications. The labels look amazing. So you can add, go to the theme. Then you can change the labels, the icon packs, even the fonts of the labels and everything. Then there's also the animations. There's this great animation called Rush. So let's, let me just may up, apply it and show it in slow motion. So this is how it looks, you see. It kind of has that nice feeling of delay. Even the widgets, when you add them, there's so much like precision. So let's just add a simple clock widget. So currently I'm showing you the app in brief because if I had to show you the whole app it would take too much time and it would take like years or something. So let's just add that. You see now when you tap on it there's this small bar of it thing you can touch and then you can move it so precisely or accurately. Even resizing it you can do it really accurately. Currently I'm just doing it fast, but then if you can do it slowly to get the right positions. So if you're a guy who designs a lot of home screens and stuff like that, this is the perfect launcher for you. It's actually quite great and perfect. Most customizable launcher according to me. However, it's a paid launcher. It goes for around six to seven dollars, but it's still worth it. The second launcher I'm showing you is actually the opposite. It's a minimal launcher with some basic commands and stuff like that. It has this nice feature of you can just type a letter on it and then it'll search for applications with that letter in it. Then it also searches, it checks your history for the same thing. You can write a whole word just like by doing stuff like this, you see, EA. Then your frequently used apps or recently used apps uh, on the main screen. You can swipe like this from the right bezel to get to all your apps and they're arranged in alphabetical order. And they look really neat and it's very minimal. Then you can swipe from the left bezel to add vid uh, widgets over here. You see long press to add widgets. So this is like a really great launcher. It's called Z Launcher and it's a free launcher. It's still in its better version. So you might have some bugs and glitches but it's a great launcher. Even the worst handwriting can work perfectly on this thing. See it's shown in all the apps. It also shows you contacts. So check it out now. It's, the link is in the description below for this great minimal launcher. Last but not least, we'll be looking at lock screens. So the first one is called AC Display. 
Now this is a very minimal looking lock screen and this is how it looks. This icon over here is the notification so when you tap on it it shows you the notification in brief then we swipe up from it or anywhere from it it will unlock and show you the notification but if you swipe down it will dismiss the notification. Now the lock screen is really great especially if you have an AMOLED screen because it's so minimal with the time and the date. When you swipe from up from it or swipe it will unlock it with some really great animation. Now the good thing about this is the extra settings such as active mode. Now this mode works great for pulling out your device from your pocket so you get a quick glimpse at the notifications. So the screen will just turn on, you don't have to press the power button. It works for most of the devices perfectly. Then you can also use a wallpaper if you don't like the black screen. And there's the, you can also change the anima unlock animation colors. There's also more like when you're the media, when your song is playing, the al album art will be blurred behind and you'll have the controls on the screen. So overall, it's a great lock screen, especially if you're a fan of minimalism and the fact that it's a free lock screen. So check the description below for the download link. So the last app of the day or the last lock screen is called Start. It's a free lock screen app and check the description below for the download link. So it's not as simple as it looks. So when you swipe like this, it'll unlock. When you hold on this one, you can open any of your favorite apps or your recently used apps. Then go back. You can check your the messing, messaging apps. You can use any of those. Then the camera. You can go to gallery or camera and like that. So it works really well. And it's a really neat home screen with all the shortcuts. If you see, you swipe. All of them require swiping and not just touching. So when you swipe like this, you can add more shortcuts like quick settings, enable search, Twitter and Twitter works really well. It will open for you and then you can tweet or read tweets. Then you, can, you see like that. So all of them work like that. Even the music player works really well. You can just play, go back to the previous song and like that. Then you swipe from the right side, you can go to settings. Or you can change the wallpaper, add security. As you can see, it also allows using of system security like password, patterns, and other stuff. So overall, this really great lock screen, especially the fact that it's free. So do check it out. It's called Start, and the link is in the description below.